Hey guys, Lucy O'Brien here. I am here with Cam Shea. That's me. And we are playing Sunset Overdrive. Now, Cam, what are we going to do today? Well, we're actually just going to take a... We're about an hour into the game, I'd say. Not very far in, but uh, we've unlocked a bunch of cool things. So we thought we might just kind of run through what we have at our fingertips in terms of kind of weapons and character customization and cool. stuff. And then we'll go find some dudes... Or dudettes. Some dudes. Or dudettes. I'm an equal opportunity killer. Well, the, the, I mean, the enemies in this game are pretty non-gendered. <coughs> They're just kind of bubbles. Yeah, apart from all the scabs are pretty identifiably male in general. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the, the, the grotesque monsters are just... They could be anything. You know, who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, so, in terms of weapons, <coughs> we've got... The Flaming Compensator, which uh, is, does a whole lot of fire damage, sets enemies on fire, basically, uh, has a good widespread, shaped like a penis. Shaped just, like a penis. Well, I mean, not that most people's penises expand Outwards kind of quite, like they're not trumpet-like necessarily, well, but... With an opening at the end. Well, there's, well there is. A, well, oh, Lucy. Anyway. Lucy, you don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> Any, anyway, uh, but that's that's great against... Um, that's great against the, the, the mutants. And as you can see here, there's an equipped amp mm -hmm. uh, underneath the description of the weapon. So we've got Bear Force 1. Uh, kills with this weapon have a chance to turn the killed enemy into a TNT. Teddy? TNT, Teddy, sorry. TNT. So essentially just, uh, you know, like a, a bomb. Yep. Which is really cool. Uh, we've got the TNT Teddy. Now the amp slot there is locked because it's at level 1. You can see over on the right-hand side, we're halfway towards level 2. And you level up uh, just by using weapons. Cool. So the more you like a weapon and the more you use a weapon, the faster it'll level up. Uh, we've got High Fidelity, which fires records. Uh, and I, I love, love, love the combination of this weapon with this amp because the weapon on its own is not super powerful. Uh, but the stun rounds uh, amp where shots fired from this weapon have a chance to electrify enemies is great because the electrified enemies, it's, it's a chain thing. So uh, you, you, you basically so they like... they electrocute enemies near them. Yeah, so, so if you're shooting into a group of enemies, um, they all just kind of get lit up, which is really nice. Dirty Harry, again, only level one. Uh, this is a very kind of uh, point, like, focused weapon, high damage. This is more of your traditional weapon. Yeah, and it's actually... I find the name. I find it quite hard to use uh, because you, you're grinding it in the air so much. It's hard to focus uh, so specifically on a target. Well, I'm just, I'm just kind of terrible. So <laughs> I prefer weapons that have a wider spread. <laughs> no, but spread uh, yeah, a lot of these weapons that, have, have wide spreads. And that ultimately either electrocute enemies or set them on fire. Right. Uh, and then you've got... Uh, like a weapon variant that I think uh, is unlocked just by virtue of it being the kind of uh, the day one edition of the game or something. I'm not. I'm not too sure. I uh, haven't really used that very much. Then we've got our amps, and I really, really love this system. So when you're in combat, uh, kind of hopping between bouncing on cars and and grinding on rails uh, and stuff, uh, it's all contributes to your your style meter. Uh, you're you're building combos and you're you're generating style. And basically, as you build your style meter up, you unlock perks. Now, these are all level 1 perks. Um, oh, actually, I don't know if they are level 1 perks or whether they're level 1 and they level up themselves. Right, okay. So, but, we yeah, because I, I think that they that. I think they unlock at different state levels of style. So, I think that's two different level things. But in any case, uh, melee attacks shoot out a fireball. Super powerful. I'm pretty sure that happens at style level 2. Um Damage dodge roll. Dodge rolling into enemies knocks them down, deals damage. So you kind of wreathed in a blue kind of ethereal flame when you when you dodge roll. Uh, and bouncing on objects spawns explosive fiery projectiles. So essentially... And 10 points for bounce explosion. Indeed. So pretty much, uh, you know, you spend a lot of your time in this game bouncing on cars and on umbrellas and all sorts of stuff. And so every time you do that and you're at the right star level... You're setting off an explosion. Reminds me a little bit of Claptrap in Borderlands pre-sequel. His ability to uh, explode when you reload. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So lots of lots of cool stuff. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, as you can see, we don't have a, a trap set, but um, that's a system that comes into play later in the game. And overdrives also. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but iGem will obviously have a whole lot of coverage on this stuff. Uh, once the review's out, because right now it's pre-embargo, so we're only allowed to talk about up until this point in the game, essentially. So, with all that in mind, why don't we go... And test some of these bad boys out. And test some of this out. Uh, so, Lucy, I'm kind of open to suggestions for where we should head off to. Um, well, I just feel that oh, we need dudes. to yeah, find the nearest dudes. 
Oh, so these are humans. Alright, so, yeah. So as you can see, we're at a high enough level for, uh, yeah, my kind of defensive role to do damage, which is really nice. Let's just head up here. No, I can't come up there. Let's go back this way. Damn awning. So, let's go find some people. I'm really just going in kind of a random direction right now, just for the fun of it. What city was Sunset City based on? Do we know that? Is it, I mean, it's obviously got it's some, some San Francisco kind of vibes to it. It's actually based on uh, Paradise City from the Guns N' Roses song. Right. Because I don't know if you've noticed, but before the apocalypse, uh, the grass was green and the girls were also quite pretty. Okay. Just letting you know. All right, so let's see if we can... Yep, so there we go. Electrifying enemies. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Alright, and what about um, our other one? Let's see if we can get trigger um, somebody turning into a TNT teddy. Yeah, let's do it. Or TN teddy. Although, I'm just trying to get my style meter up a little bit. Oh, very nice, Cam. Turn me there, nice. Oh, okay, so we've got we've got the mutants fighting the scabs. That's pretty cool. That's cool. So we're still not quite there yet. I might I'll probably need to get a few more kills. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Keep watching. Oh, so Let's just build this up a little bit higher. And I like the fact that you even said that in the first place. Like, this is a game where it's actually really fun to shoot bad guys, and you want them to be alive so you can. <laughs> this is true. Destroy is true. them in various creative ways. All right, there's some dudes in there. Let's go have a bit of a chat. All right, lots of guys. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that guy just turned into a TNT. Did you see that? Yep. I mean, obviously... All right, here we go. Now we've got the explosion from... Oh, there we go. The yes. So... Oh, it's just, it's just so a shame good. that you've just killed so many of these guys already. <laughs> we can't show They're this off. They're all dead. Everybody's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to bounce my way over. Do it. Oh, man. I just, I just don't want to ever stop bouncing. And... Bye -bye. Very nice. So yeah, there you go. I mean, um, but this is really the tip of the iceberg, you know. Like, yeah. We've only just started playing this game. We've got, we've got, um, we've got a lot to go, right? We've got a lot to unlock. I just want to kill this guy with a bounce explosion, but I might just shoot him in the head from a play. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, that oh, is not effective. Come on. That is not effective. And now I've um, lost my charge. Well, let's stop there before you die. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, let's just let's just die once. Okay, okay. And just see what uh, death animation we get. So anyway, this this is just designed to give you guys a bit of an idea of some of the stuff you'll be able to enjoy in Sunset Overdrive, and it's also oh, oh that's so good. That was that's probably my favorite so far. Uh, and the, the more ring. and the more of the kind of the weapon apps you have, the the more you'll be able to customize. Uh, each gun to your liking because you can you can swap them all around. You know nothing's locked in. So all right, that's awesome. I think we'll call it call it there. One more death, just one. Oh, I just uh, yeah, big fan. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Bye.